What, what is, is up, everybody? I am James, also known as the James Walbrick, and today I am taking you on a journey with Josh. Yep. Uh, but yes, we are going to be taking uh, you guys basically along on our entire day today. For those of you that don't know, uh, this is James. He's my Hello. business partner. Uh, we own a video production company together that we started, um, and so we've both got matching beards, kind of. He actually, this is a new addition to James. He doesn't no shave it. November, and then I just brought it through. And now December. it's don't shave December. Yep. Anyway, so yeah, this is basically going to be like a day in the life of me, Josh Watson. Today is the final day of preparation before we start filming this enormous commercial project that I've been talking about for a little while that we have been hired to film uh, a series of three commercials for this company. Uh, there's thousands, tens of thousands of dollars that were, have been invested into this. Um, and so, you know, I, I'm just going to bring you guys along through the entire day of like, we're going to do some location scouting. We're going to be doing a uh, meeting with some department heads. We're going to be uh, just, pre you know, getting all the final preparation operations done um, in order to to make this commercial happen uh, starting tomorrow morning anyway guys give it a thumbs up if you're excited and let's go down to let's get let's let's do this so we're over at James's house now uh, we just finished eating our uh, McDonald's breakfast and had some cinnamon rolls as well okay, so now we are actually on Google Maps looking at our locations getting making sure that we get the exact right addresses and everything we're sending that out to our assistant director who is going to then produce the call sheet, which is basically like a, uh, you know, a piece of paper with all the information of like all the addresses, every single person needs to be there, what time each person needs to be there, because some people need to be there earlier, some people need to be there later. And so, I mean, because we've got a crew of like 20 people that are showing up to this tomorrow. And so, and so we're, we're compiling all the information that we need to send him so that he can send that out to everybody else. So it's, it's a lot of logistic stuff, but it makes sense. To a lot us. of calls, <clears throat> a lot of scheduling. A lot of, yeah, a lot of phone calls. A lot calls, of paperwork. A lot of emails. This is like the boring side of filmmaking. But if we do this all smoothly, it makes... Then, yeah, then tomorrow goes so much better. And then we have more fun tomorrow when we're actually on set making, you know, doing this. Um, we're not worrying about these last minute things. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so we have just done a ton of phone calls and text messages and emails to a ton of people, a ton of different like department heads and and equipment rental houses and actors and other people and talking with the client and all sorts of jazz and so we've just spent like I don't know what like two hours doing that James but anyway so we now have to go and Something do like some location scouting and we have to look at some locations because believe it or not we are less than well this this location we actually won't be shooting for another two days but we have not locked the location yet and so which is a nightmare guys this entire commercial we like started prep on this like a week ago we're prepping three of the biggest commercials we've ever done and it's absolutely insane. Anyway, we're going to get in the car and we're going to go scout some locations. And there's James's motorcycle out in the cold. Yeah. Mine's, mine's, you're, you're a bad motorcycle owner, James. Mine's in my garage. You don't have a garage, do you, James? Nope. Apartment complex. <laughs> Okay, so we are now out here scouting these locations and we are like up in the mountains and I let me show you guys outside. So this is like, we're in this canyon. It's absolutely amazing up here uh, with these crazy, crazy mountains. Uh, and it's, it's just, it's awesome. We're looking for an awesome place to do some filming up here. So basically we just need to find a spot that we can film at. We found a couple really good options. Um, and, and there's just some really like all these big mountains here and lots of snow, but we're now, now that I'm seeing the location, I'm realizing that we're really going to have to change our costume design for the two characters that are going to be up here. Cause originally I was envisioning like, you know, uh, like French countryside sort of a thing, but this, but it's, it's winter. I don't know what I was thinking. And so now I think I'm going to go for more of like Christmas Carol looking things of like kind of the like, uh, you know, steamy British stuff, not steamy, but like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, uh, I don't know, like, like, like almost like, yeah, like Cockney, like chimney sweep sort of a, like, I don't know. It's, it's complicated to explain because obviously you guys don't know the story, but you guys will, I, I, I should be able to share the finished products on my Twitter account. Um, in like a couple of weeks once they are like edited and produced and everything and so hopefully all of this will make a little bit more sense at that point we're just pulling up here this over here I actually used to uh, go here all the time this is actually a shooting range and there's like ambulances and police cars here I don't know it's kind of crazy to me like I hope I, I don't know it's like I mean it's a shooting range over there when we passed by that earlier there was two ambulances there and they were um, wheeling out one of those like stretcher things that you see in movies um, down into the shooting range and so I don't know it's kind of scary so we've been doing like a crazy amount of stuff as we're driving here it's like as, as we went up and we're scouting locations I was texting and answering emails uh, to my different production 
uh, or my, my different uh, department heads and then had like a phone call with one of my actors to call the actor's agent to talk to her and then had to and I now as soon as I finish recording this little video segment here I have to call my production designer and let her know some changes that I just decided on right now and so it's just it's an absolute amount of insane amount of work like even just driving uh, we were working constantly while we're driving even it's insane uh, so we are going up in the mountains and there's terrible cell service up here um, we're, we're just gonna go look at one more location um, and I was in the middle of texting my assistant director um, and making sure that he got everything done that I needed him to get done uh, right now and I lost cell phone service and and so I we're actually we just made a u-turn and we're going back so that I can finish texting him and finish our conversation to make sure that he gets that done because we need it, I need it done like right right now and so so we need to go back and get more cell phone service so we are now back on the freeway and we are headed to a meeting with the client, the people who are paying for all of this. And uh, the, light, the sunlight back there is super, super bright. But anyway, so we're gonna meet with them. This is our final meeting with the client before we start filming tomorrow. My so. head is the sun. <laughs> but yeah, so we're just gonna go meet with the client. Dang, dang, dang this. Dude, James, you literally are the sun. Look, look, like if you position the camera right, like I become the sun. We are now at Walmart. Uh, we are actually, our meeting went super well with the client. Everything's good to go. Uh, we are actually grabbing uh, some snacks to have on set because we've got a crew of like 20 people on set. And so we need to uh, keep them fed. Obviously we're gonna have meals, but uh, we also need to have just like snacks for on set. This is the final tally of everything that we are buying for snacks. Usually we hire somebody else to do this, but this time for some reason we chose to save money and do it ourselves. Maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> Thanks for helping me, Josh. So I am now streaming. I'm on stream right now. And if you guys have watched the stream, then you will get to see this moment happening right now. It's very meta. So it is now day three out of three of our filming here on set. I have not vlogged very much over the last couple of days. I actually got my hair down today because uh, it's just one of those days. My voice is also going out, which sucks. Um, and But anyway, we are on a sound stage here. Let me show this to you guys. We're on like what's called a sound stage. We got our giant camera and all these big lights around here. And uh, this is going to uh, be where we're gonna dump a ton of Cheetos on top of somebody, of course, because it's a commercial and we're trying to be dramatic. And so I'll, I'll make sure I vlog that portion for you guys. All right, point on set, pictures up, sound, speed, camera, speed. And action. Take on the ground. Ah, I'm not. Try one more time and give it even more of a beat and a more, a little bit more a dignified spunness. Okay. Still hard, but more of a... All right, back to one. Yeah, Picture is up. And then Sound. Sound stage. Camera. Okay, with me. Call it. Nine Baker, take two, marker. Camera settled. Camera set. Okay. And. Action. Yeah, cut. That was it. What? That was it. And camera settle. That is perfect right there. Boom! 
That took so many takes to get that cheese dump right, but we finally got it. And that is a wrap, and my voice is completely gone. But we got it, it took a long time, but we got, we, I think we did like 12 or 13 takes on that final scene. Um, and my, my vocal cords are just completely thrashed right now, it sucks, but we got our shots, we made our day, I'm happy. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. This uh, entire film shoot and everything has been absolutely insane. It just, it's it's a ton, a ton of work. And hopefully this is giving you a kind of a, a little bit of a glimpse into what I do outside of YouTube and, and just the crazy, crazy stuff that goes on behind the scenes of making these types of commercials. And uh, once these commercials come out, I will be posting them on my Twitter. And so make sure you go follow me on Twitter. My link is down in the description. You guys are awesome. I'm the Josh Watson. I will see you all in the next one.